Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, the best place for new and emerging leaders who want help navigating challenges in the workplace. Today's episode is all about why employees quit their jobs and what something they're calling the big quit has to do with it. In this video, I'll explain why the big quit is happening and what employers, specifically managers, can do about it. So stay tuned. So if you don't know, sometime around fall of 2021, news outlets started reporting about a trend that started happening all over the nation. They started calling it the big quit or the great resignation. It's basically the fact that people started being more selective in their job choices. And in many cases, they decided not to return to their jobs when they were able to as restrictions loosened up in the wake of the global pandemic. And while prior to the virus, employers had the upper hand, now in a post-pandemic world, people are asserting their freedom of choice in employment options and they are demanding better options. This has left employers across all industries in search of workers. An article from the Washington Post written by columnist Carla L. Miller has a headline that reads, during the great resignations, workers refuse to accept the unacceptable. The article says that people who are used to tolerating bad work situations are increasingly leaving their jobs and demanding better working conditions. Well, the truth is that if employers want to retain employees, it really comes down to understanding why people quit. And when it comes to the topic of what makes people dissatisfied with their jobs or why people quit, if we think about it, it isn't anything new. The difference now is that employers are feeling the effects of it because employees realize that they have options and they're exercising those options. So here are a few top reasons why employees quit and how employers can handle workers' reluctance to return to the office. Reason number one why employees quit their jobs is for post-pandemic adventure. While the big quit cycle may have started with employer cutbacks due to the economic struggles in 2020, the tide quickly turned to employees simply quitting as we moved into 2021. Employees were in search of better employment options that suited their lifestyles and life goals better. In the same Washington Post article that I mentioned, it states that since 2020, in addition to massive unemployment from pandemic-induced business shutdowns, the United States has seen a surge of voluntary job departures. People are reevaluating what they want in terms of work and career. This means that many people are making different choices for their lives and for their future. And for those who develop their transferable skills, switching jobs became that much easier. People have a new outlook on life and they want to choose a different path by being more selective when choosing their next job and their career. And this isn't anything new like I said before. Over the last decade, we saw the rise of the tiny home ventures where new homeowners chose the tiny home option to bypass a mortgage and live a more nomadic lifestyle. This choice allowed them to use their disposable income in new and creative ways. The same thing has happened now with the career choices. Reason number two why employees quit their jobs is lack of autonomy and creativity. The American Labor Department released data stating that in August 2021, 4.3 million Americans left their jobs. This made it difficult for employers to find work good workers and retain them. This meant that employees held all the cards in terms of filling employment vacancies and started requiring more from potential employers. The thing is that people want to feel heard and have their contribution valued. They want to feel optimistic about their work and about their future in the company. When they don't feel these things, they quit. Employees also want to find the work engaging and be interested in what they do. They want the freedom to share and explore new ideas and they want to work with a sense of purpose. When employees work in an environment that's not conducive to these things, they feel less engaged and definitely uninspired. Employees also want to know that they were hired because the employer believed that they could do a competent job based on their skills and experience. When this doesn't happen, it can lead to low morale in the workplace. And as we know, low morale leads to dissatisfied employees 
who eventually seek new op employment opportunities within the job market. Reason three why employees quit their jobs is dysfunctional or culture or a negative work environment. There is a saying that goes, people don't quit bad jobs, they quit bad managers. But I want to change that a little to say that people don't quit bad jobs, they quit jobs with toxic work environments. This is usually a result of mentally unhealthy work culture. Because we spend so much time at work, the relationship between the employee and the organizational culture that the company cultivates plays a key part in employee satisfaction and retention. An article published by CNBC in March 2022, written by contributor Jennifer Liu, called these are the five biggest signs of a toxic workplace cited the following as some of the challenges that employees face in terms of toxic work culture number one non-inclusive actions number two disrespectful behavior number three unethical behavior number four backstabbing and number five abusive management that's just a few of the things that impact on job performance morale employee retention and job satisfaction. To put it simply, creating a healthy organizational culture includes many different factors. One starting point is to invest in a trained management team at all levels of the company and listen to get employee feedback. It's a strategy that can have long lasting effects on the company and its employees. It's really about each employer deciding how they want to invest their energy and their company resources. There's a famous Richard Branson quote that says, train people well enough so they can leave, treat them well enough so they don't want to. And I agree with that. Click the like button if you agree with that comment too. Reason number four why employees quit their jobs is underpaid wages. The debate about an unacceptable living wage is an ongoing debate top of mind for employees and the companies they work for. The truth is that people want better working conditions, better benefits, and better pay. And a great way to entice employees is to analyze company pay structures to compensate people adequately, and this will differ for each industry. But it's not all doom and gloom as things appear to have gotten better. According to the US Department of Labor blog, Notice issued April 1, 2022, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics reported that the American economy added 431,000 jobs in the month of March 2022, and the unemployment rate was 6.3%, down from 3.8% in February 2022. This shows that the U.S. economy and job market has taken a turn, which is definitely good news. When we look at the big quit and why employees quit their jobs, the basic point is that while in the past employers had all of the power, now in a post-pandemic world, people are asserting their freedom of choice in employment options and they are demanding better options. Here's what employers can do about this. In one word, companies need to adapt. We can never really fully go back to the way things were before this new decade started. Employees want more and they believe that they deserve better working conditions. Companies need to adapt and change how they view the employee-employer working relationship. This will put both parties on a good path to a positive and productive workplace for the future. Now, if you haven't gotten your copy, be sure to check out my ebook. If you want tips for what you can do to take the next logical step in your career, my ebook on how to get promoted fast provide specific examples of the step that you can take to successfully craft the career of your dreams. The link is in the description box, along with other resources that are available in there for you. Now, if you're watching this video and you wanna know exactly what employees want in order to stay on the job, be sure to subscribe and watch my companion video where I share what employees want to stay on the job and what employers can do about it. As always, have a great week. Be kind to yourself and thanks so much for watching.